They said if you build it, they will come. And how? This is Intel's Ultrabook project. So many different companies now have Ultrabooks out here. It's almost impossible to even understand the numbers that are being put in. Intel is really backing it. All the companies, Dell, HP, LG, Asus, Acer, Lenovo, it's all a firestorm of Ultrabooks. We'll take you through as many as I can. No, 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 that's not a razor blade. That is the world's thinnest notebook. In a world of ultra portables, that is a huge claim. This is the world's thinnest notebook or ultra book from Samsung, the Series 9. Confusing because last year they also had a Series 9. They've upgraded it and yet it's Series 9. What's more confusing, many different series. There's five, then there's a Series 5 Chromebook, there's a Series 5 Ultra Book, then there's a Series 7. It's all raining out here, Ultrabooks and portables. Let's take a look. Somehow, even thinner than its predecessor and featuring an upgraded quad-core i7 and an improved display resolution of 1600 into 900. Has MacBook Air finally met its match? Okay, forget everything else because what I'm about to show you is yoga. No, trust me, I haven't gone bonkers. Neither am I planning to become a fitness instructor. It is very much technology that I'm talking about. This is yoga. I know it looks like a normal ultra book, which is obviously the theme of CES 2012. But what makes it really yogic is this is the yoga sutra behind it. That is really amazing. Now, if you want to make it a tablet, it's a 13 inch tablet over here. And of course, if you want an ultra book, then all that you need to do is, is over here. And of course, just imagine a photo frame or something for your PowerPoint presentation. Simply amazing. So this is yoga. Now trust us, there is a reason behind this snazzy name. The party trick here is that yoga screen can bend completely backwards to turn into a full touchscreen tablet. So in other words, an ultrabook mashed together with a tablet. You know, we live in a brilliant world. This little thin sliver, most will call it a razor blade, seems to have so much in it. This is the world of ultrabooks. Look at it, belting out music. It's got a processor, it's got a beautiful screen. It's got it all, a solid state hard drive, the Toshiba 785, the ultrabook. Let's take a look inside out. It was raining ultrabooks at CES and this is the Toshiba 14 inch ultrabook. Excruciatingly thin, 0.78 inches thick, a 1366 into 768 display, a very interesting addition to the Ultrabooks table. One look at the spectrum and you would be forgiven if you thought it was entirely made of glass. The glass used in the design is a conscious design choice and it's not all looks either. A 1600 into 914 inch display and second generation Intel Core processors. This gives new meaning to a term if looks could kill. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.